Well, today we're going to look at doing a little maintenance on the hard drive. I, you, just as you see, you got your screen open. If you're a real heavy user, you need to do this probably once a month, maybe twice a month. A home user that just uses the computer for uh, email and uh, oh, a little web surfing, maybe a little word processing, maybe once a month. But you do need to do it. It helps keep your computer clean and, and well organized. So hit the go to my computer and left click find your local disk it may be called HP local or but it's your C drive most likely it is the C drive uh, right click on that drive the right mouse go down to properties and left click and here you see a, a graphic of your hard drive it tells you what your capacity is in this case mine's a 120 gigabyte hard drive uh, tells me how much free space I've got how much use space you can see I don't don't have I've got more than half of my hard drive left. Uh, the tabs up here, the tools, hardware, sharing, and quota. We're only going to worry about tools today. Click on tools, and you'll see the two topics here: error checking and defragmentation. Uh, the error checking will check for any errors, any cross-link files, any volumes, uh, not volumes, uh, any directories that are not formatted correctly. It'll take care of it. Click check now and uh, two choices here I would check both of them and let it automatically do the things that need to be done and then simply press start now in some cases let's see if it does it here in some cases it said this this check could not be performed because the disk check utility needs exclusive access in other words it can't have any programs running so what's going to happen here is you go ahead and tell it yes and then when you get out of here you restart your computer and you'll see a message come up before it ever gets to Windows that will allow you to check it then. It will go through the disk check for errors then because it hasn't it hasn't mounted any of the uh, drivers and loaded any video. So we're going to back out of this one because we're not going to do it now. Once you finish the disk error checking, it will finish up in the DOS mode and go back in and reboot the computer into Windows. Then come right back to here and go to defrag, defragmentation. And here's what it's going to look like. You'll get a disk defragmenter up here. Uh, and you see the disk. I've got an external drive here. We're not going to bother with it. You just highlight the one, click it once, the NTFS, your C drive. And then you tell it to analyze it or defrag. And what you just analyze it to look and see it brings you up a nice little chart here. Uh, a visual and and it says uh, an analysis is complete and it says you should defrag volume now click defrag and it's going to analyze again you see the the volume uh, identifiers here fragmented files contiguous files unmovable files and free space this is what you want it's going to put everything into a contiguous file here it's going to take all of these red things and it's gonna put it in a more logical order so the computer doesn't have to if you'll notice when your disk is busy the disk drive light just flashes continually uh, it should be doing it now uh, it's doing it now on my computer here uh, until it gets all of this work done it's gonna put it in a more logical order so that the computer doesn't have as much trouble finding files so and it will keep showing you the improved look here in this area so and again I stop this because we don't want to sit here and wait for that to get done. Okay, there is how you do a little bit of a cleanup on your hard drive. One other area you might want to look at. Let's go back into the hard drive here, and you see right here where it says disk cleanup. This, if you'll click on that with the left mouse, you'll see that it it's calculating how much space you'll be able to free. It looks for all unused files, things that are your old uh, files you haven't used in forever. Uh, it looks at uh, temporary internet files uh, you'll see here in a minute it'll give me a report of what uh, what files it thinks it tries to do a little thinking for you and tell you what you need to do to clean up your disk space and regain some of this to regain some of this here this free space a lot of this could be files that aren't they're just not absolutely they're absolutely not doing anything for you so you need to get rid of them uh, this could take a bit
to finish up here is it looks for these old files. My hard drive light is going like crazy here. Okay, now it's done. Uh, you'll see the downloaded program files, temporary internet files, a huge amount of temporary internet files. These just make it a little faster. It's called the cache. Um, you go to load web pages or websites that you've been to, it'll pop them up a lot quicker. They do take up space. My recycle bin has got quite a bit of junk in it. Temporary files, uh, old files, and you have to check the ones that you want. For instance, this compressed old files. There's how much disk space I would gain. Uh, it just depends. Be most of this is uh, stuff that you don't need. Uh, you could go ahead and, and get rid of it and clear up quite a bit of disk space. So that's another way to help fix up your drive. And it'll ultimately help your computer work faster and cleaner. Uh, you'll find you won't be waiting so long for it. So that's just about how to help yourself and save a technician call on your computer. Thanks.